Hi, ArcfieldWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Thursday morning, September 8th. A lot to talk about with respect to the tropics. We'll talk about both the Atlantic Basin and the Eastern Pacific where Hurricane K is very likely to throw some moisture into Southern California uh, later tomorrow into tomorrow night and Saturday causing some uh, rainfall, perhaps even some flooding rains there. We have Hurricane Earl in the western part of the Atlantic Ocean quite likely to become a major hurricane as it slowly turns from a northerly direction to a northeast direction over the next 12 to 24 hours or so. This is the way the Atlantic Basin looks right now. It is quite active. Danielle has weakened from a hurricane to tropical storm status as it moves over cooler and cooler waters in the North Atlantic. And here's Earl right in this region right here. Notice this little black dot right here. That is the island of Bermuda. Earl is moving right to the north right now and will start to turn a little bit east of north over the next few hours, likely pushing just to the southeast of Bermuda over the next 12 to 24 hours or so. It certainly will have uh, some impact on the island with at least tropical force winds over the next 12 to 24 hours or so. Then continues to move to the north and east and will kind of meander around in this vicinity for a few days. This is Newfoundland, Canada, and I certainly have to stay on guard for Hurricane Earl. Again, it, uh, quite likely to become a major hurricane uh, uh, over the next 12 to 24 hours or so. Right now, sustained winds are 105 miles per hour. It doesn't take much to uh, climb up to Category 3, which I believe begins at 111 miles per hour. Again, just to the south and east of Bermuda, Meanwhile, there's other systems out here in the Atlantic Basin that we will monitor. Danielle continues to weaken and move to the north and east. And this is the official forecast track by NOAA's National Hurricane Center. Again, right in this position right here, the M stands for major. It's uh, not quite a Category 3 right now, but it could very well, should become a major hurricane uh, shortly. Here is Bermuda, passes off just to the southeast of Bermuda, Bermuda, then turns a little bit more to the north and east, and really I believe it'll kind of meander around this area for a few days over the upcoming weekend into the early part of next week. Nova Scotia right here, Newfoundland right here, certainly they have to stay on guard for Hurricane Eo as it will kind of ominously meander in this area for a few days, still maintaining hurricane status right into the upcoming weekend. Well, before we discuss Hurricane K and its uh, potential impact on Southern California, one last bit of charts here I wanted to show with respect to Earl. We're really uh, lucky along the eastern seaboard, kind of dodged a bullet with Earl, and it, it's just fortunate that there's enough of an upper level trough over the northeastern part of the country, the southeastern part of Canada, that helped to turn this system first to the north and ultimately to the north and east. Here we are at the 500 millibar level as we begin the day here on Thursday. Then we move forward here in time and notice the uh, trough right in this region right here. Again, northeastern part of the U.S., southeastern part of Canada. It's kind of a trough in the upper part of the atmosphere. That is enough to help steer this system off to the north and east. Uh, this was the most likely scenario, but it uh, certainly was not out of the question that this system just meander around a little bit longer down in this area and kind of avoided that trough and then it could have caused all kinds of problems for the eastern seaboard. But again, fortunate that there's enough of an upper level trough that right here you can see it kind of gets swept up uh, by this upper level trough. This is the forecast map for tomorrow morning, 500 millibars. Here's that upper level trough helping to steer Earl in this direction, first to the north and then to the north and east. So again, just kind of wanted to point out uh, the lucky nature of this particular upper level trough over the northeastern part of the U.S., southeastern part of Canada. And uh, that was uh, in the forecast about a week or so ago. It was, was the reason why the more favorable, the more likely scenario was this system never reaching the U.S. East Coast. But certainly, we dodged a bullet along the East Coast. 
Well, let's shift gears now and go to the Eastern Pacific, and specifically Hurricane K, which will have an impact on Southern California. Not unprecedented, but rather rare. If uh, uh, this system impacts Southern California full throttle, it could be the biggest impact by a tropical system. Maybe since the 1970s, there was a system 1976 that had an impact in Southern California. It is uh, not a major hurricane. It's a uh, Category 2 hurricane right now sliding along the west coast of Baja, California. This is the California southern border region right here. The system will move over cooler and cooler waters and weaken, actually weaken, over the next 24 to 48 hours or so into tropical storm status. And then it will become increasingly influenced by a ridge off to the north that will help to steer it away uh, from the California coastline and it'll continue to weaken into the upcoming weekend. However, despite this kind of a track here that avoids moving over California and despite the fact that it weakens, it will throw a lot of moisture into Southern California. There's lots of mountains on the eastern part of Southeastern California. That's uh, where real concern is for some potential heavy rain, maybe flooding rains, and uh, we'll took a, take a look at the forecast maps in a moment here. But again, Southern California very likely to imp be impacted by Hurricane K in terms of both uh, heavy rainfall and some strong winds. There certainly can be some winds up to 50, maybe even 60 miles per hour or so in Southern California as a result of not only Hurricane K, but a very strong high pressure system off to the north and east. Now here's the total precipitation forecast map as depicted by NOAA's Weather Prediction Center for the next five days. It goes from this morning, Thursday morning, all the way to Tuesday morning. And first of all, out in Southern California, this is all as a result of Hurricane K. Again, it could throw some significant rainfall, significant tropical moisture into the southern part of California from San Diego all the way east to the mountains of eastern uh, Southern California, even into Central California, there can be some decent rainfall. They're experiencing a heat wave out there in California, and this will certainly cause a change in the temperature pattern uh, between tomorrow and Saturday, probably uh, uh, still a very, very warm day on Friday, but then much cooler in the southern half of the state with the clouds and the likely rainfall as a result of Hurricane K. Meanwhile, a lot of precipitation from the Gulf of Mexico all the way into the southeastern U.S. over the next five days. This is not a result of Earl, which is out over uh, this region right here and pulling away. This is just kind of more conventional, conventional rainfall associated with slow-moving frontal system. But again, significant rainfall from uh, Florida all the way up into the Carolinas over the next five days or so, and quite a bit of precipitation in the form of rain over the uh, northern plains. Well, let's take a look at last night's run of the GFS from the Zero Z. This is the operational version, and uh, certainly two systems jump out at you. This is Earl right here in the lower right portion over the western Atlantic, and this is Hurricane K right here along Baja, California. Again, this is the southern border of California, and uh, we'll uh, move forward. High pressure moving into the Mid-Atlantic region, northeast U.S., while California and much of the western U.S. experiences continued very hot conditions. Uh, beautiful weather for much of the Great Lakes, Mid-Atlantic, northeast U.S. over the next few days uh, with crisp mornings, late night and early mornings, and pleasantly warm afternoons right through the upcoming weekend. Well, let's now move forward here with these uh, forecast maps here. And again, Earl turns to the north and then to the northeast, just to the southeast of the island of Bermuda. Here we are now by this evening. And then into the uh, morning hours on Friday. This is midday on Friday. And a couple things I want to point out right here as far as Friday is concerned. Again, Hurricane K will not move over California, but it will start turning to the north and then west before it ever reaches California. Nonetheless, it is going to throw a lot of tropical moisture right into Southern California. Now, now notice also the low pressure center, what remains of Hurricane K by midday tomorrow, 
as well as a very, very strong high pressure system up here over Montana. Combination of the two will produce increasingly strong easterly winds uh, across Southern California. And that'll do a couple of things. First of all, it'll uh, maintain the hot conditions on Friday with that downsloping winds initially uh, likely to see temperatures go well up in the 90s across much of Southern California with those uh, downsloping easterly winds. Secondarily, could be some damage associated with these increasingly strong easterly winds coming down the mountains of eastern Southern California. Could gust up to 50, 60 miles per hour or so tomorrow, tomorrow night, into the day on Saturday. Let's move forward here and watch what happens with K and here here we go with some heavy rainfall to the north and east of K but moving into Southern California uh, uh, later tomorrow tomorrow night into the day on Saturday this is all the way into Saturday morning again strong high pressure over Montana with this low will combine with some uh, for some uh, tight pressure gradient very strong winds and that moisture moves perhaps all the way up into central California before Hurricane K finally pulls away. This is a Sunday morning forecast map. This high pressure system will be in control Thursday, Friday, Saturday into the day on Sunday for the Mid-Atlantic region, Northeast U.S. At that particular time, some moisture will gather itself the western side of the Appalachians and push into the Mid-Atlantic region, perhaps even the Northeast U.S. Sunday night into the day on Monday. So Earl becomes a major hurricane most likely over the next a 6 to 12 hours or so, passes just to the south and east of Bermuda, and then it'll kind of meander around the North Atlantic, not all that far from Newfoundland, Canada, uh, over the upcoming weekend. Meanwhile, the eastern Pacific has Hurricane K, will very likely throw some significant rainfall into Southern California, maybe even up to Central California uh, from tomorrow into the day on Saturday, in addition to the Rains, there will be a significant wind problem as well. Gusts in Southern California can uh, reach 50 to even 60 miles per hour or so as Hurricane K uh, moves off to the north and then veers off to the west over the next 48 hours or so. That's it for now. For ArcFieldWeather.com, I'm meteorologist Paul